So the big question is, how will this castle look when all three builds are clipped together? down under bricks here and in today's video we're going to be looking at all three builds from a creator three in one set this is set 31120 the medieval castle recently released here on june 1st in australia this set retails for 160 dollars in australia but you can find it at much lower prices in stores the set consists of 1,426 pieces. It has three minifigs and one skeleton. So for each build, we'll be taking a look at the build itself, its play features, the extra small builds, and I'll also share with you the pieces that were left over from each build. As for the minifigs, I think it's best that we just take a look at all the minifigs together. Each box comes with seven bags and two instruction books. With the minifigs, I wanted to bring in all the minifigs here so we can have a look at some of the options that you have with the minifigs if you get all three sets. If we start with the minifigs from build A, we get our old wise knight, we get our female knight, and we get our blacksmith, and of course, our skeleton. Now by having all three sets allows you to mix and match these figures up. So here I have a scruffy looking knight, we have a female villager, and still the old wise knight. And for the last combination, we still have our two knights, but the female villager I have turned into another knight by using the armor and helmet piece. Now there are many combinations you can do with all of these minifigures, that's just a few I came up with. The printing on these Falcon Knights, these Black Falcons, is just absolutely superb. I really love the printing, especially with printing onto the legs. Without the helmets, you can see the face printing a little better, and here is the back printing on the Knight. Now the big thing jumping out here is the use of this pirate torso, which is something we always associate with pirates. However, I do feel like it does work for a villager. The problem I have with it is if you turn it into a knight, we have a knight with bare arms and it just doesn't quite work. So I would have liked to have seen a full sleeve printed torso for that extra minifig. Here you can see we have a nice assortment of weapons and shields. Now the only problem that we have is a lot of these weapons and shields and helmets are used in alternate builds for each set. So if you use those pieces in your builds, you're going to be a little bit limited to what you can armor up your minifigures with. So I would have liked to have seen at least a few more swords chucked in the set. So starting with build A, the main build, we get some nice little accessory builds here. We get a well with a frog. We get some brick built animals, which personally I'm not a big fan of the brick built animals. I'd much prefer a single molded bird or rat or whatever. So here we have three chickens. We have a rat, we have a crow, and we have a vulture. Now, I actually think these are pretty cool. I think they do represent what they're supposed to fairly well. But, yeah, they're just not really my cup of tea. And, of course, we have a dragon. Now, this is a pretty cute-looking dragon. I think it's probably more of a baby dragon, but we do have some articulation with it. We have the wings on ball joints here. We have the legs on ball joints as well these little ball sockets and the feet are just on a hinge the head is very nice it's also on a ball hinge here and a hinge at the base of the head so we can get some pretty good movement there and i think the face is done really well the, the whole head actually is done really well so let's have a look at the main build. Now I have a bit to say about the style and the coloration of this set, but I'm going to leave that to my final thoughts. So let's just take a look at this build itself. So the first thing is it separates into three separate builds. We have the water mill, the main gate, and the tower. 
Starting with the main gate, of course, we have the drawbridge. The whole section is built on water. We have a nice little rock outcrop here that the castle is built from. There's lots of nice detail built into this castle. We do have a lot of use of this 4x4x4 wall element, but a lot of the time it is covered up. Like you can see here, there's a couple used here, but it is covered up by this ribbon so I think that looks really nice some really nice detail used in the top of the towers here especially the use of these shield pieces to really good effect having a little closer look we have our black falcon shield there I love the use of these pieces to indicate sharpened wood supports there the windows really like those as well for for battlement windows. Down this side we have a tree and a mushroom. A little bit of detail, it's a bit plain down the bottom here. A little bit of masonry brick there for some detail. Into the back section here. Not a lot on the interior here. Here is a mechanism for the drawbridge, we'll look at that shortly. And just a peek down this side, I love this little overhang section here I think that's really nice now we have a working drawbridge we have the winch on the side here now the execution of this mechanism works extremely well so we can wind it up here and it locks into place here is the mechanism here and if we lift up that piece there you can now wind the bridge back down and by dropping that back down you can wind it up and you can lock it at any stage and we also have these two pieces on the back that are hinged where you can attach the other buildings to so this section is our water mill and king's room so we have our turning water mill if we look down the side, we have a doorway. And just have a look around. On this side, we have a target here. And we have a window. And looking into the back, we have this king section. And underneath, we have the blacksmith. Let's take a look in there. And by rotating the water mill it actually lifts the hammer up and down in the blacksmiths and a bit better look in the king's room for the third build we have our tower and you can see just the whole style continues on with the same type of window we have this nice wood built tower section on the top here if we have a look down the side, quite plain here, probably could have done with a little bit more masonry brick in there. And if we look from the back section, we have our battlement wall here. No, no detail there really. Again, just open in the tower. But underneath, we have a little market there. So we have... A little food stall there, so a little bit of a tease for this starving prisoner when they're selling food right outside his door. Now if we open that up, you can see our little prison cell there. And although it's a little bit too late for this guy, you can bust out this wall and your prisoner can escape. So on to build B, our tower and catapult, as it is described by Lego, but it is clearly a trebuchet. So let's start with our trebuchet. It is a very solid build here, and it works really well. We have our little cache of rocks here to launch, and we have our target. So the trebuchet works by winding this back, and the chain pulls the counterweight up, we have a small little bucket, it's probably a little bit small, you've got to just be a bit careful with placing your one by one round brick in there. Now we have a target in the background there, let's see 
if I can hit the target. Oh, first shot. Now this tower is packed with detail. So we have an entrance section here with stairs going up over a waterway. We have a nicely brick built gate or doorway that opens up. And the thing I love about this tower is it's just packed with detail. Now I would say that this used around seven to eight hundred pieces in this total build for part B out of the 14 126 pieces and now taking a look around this tower I really love these dragon brick built gargoyles don't they look fantastic we have a little breakaway section here where I think someone's used the trebuchet and busted out a piece of wall and then it comes up to this top lookout tower and the roof design is very nice. Down the bottom, we have a little play function here where we can roll this rock section away to reveal a little compartment underneath, another little jail cell. So lots of prisoners, lots of prisoners escaping in this set. We have our entrance there. We have a little room with a baby dragon. And then we have a little, uh, I guess I'd call that a wizard's room. So there's lots of potions there. And he can keep an eye on things out his window. And just to look down this side. Again, lots of little builds just to tie the whole look together. A little bit of vineage. So now on to build C. This one has more of a market feel to it. Now I would estimate that this took up around half the pieces, around 700 pieces to build accessory builds for this one is a tree again we get some brick built birds quite a nice little tree has a target on the side and we also get a blacksmith stall here as well so again this is one of the builds that will take up some of your minifig accessories we have a sword some armor the helmet the shield and the spear on this side but the look of this is very nice just looking from the back just open and plain now the re real detail comes in this build here the main build so we have our bakery section here we have our mill and it does have a wheel on the back where you can spin your mill and we have a lookout tower this time the flag design is a little bit different and it's mounted on a pole we have a water entrance to the castle here and again just some very nice detail throughout the build what i really love is the the roof design on on each of these builds all uses the same pieces they all look good together but they're all slightly different so i like this design here for our bakery little food stall uh, you can probably get yourself some ale as well and the mill and again each of these sections is on a hinge so we can actually box this section up like so and looking from the back not a lot going on here we do again get some nice detail just flowing through from the the front design of the wall but we have some stairs going up so always good to have some access there's our water gate and here again another prison cell we just have a candle up in this section here goes up to our tower and then our our battlement there we have a door going into the little mill room here but not a lot of detail inside and a little wheel.
to spin here. So the big question is, how do all of these builds look when you put them together? Now, you actually have five sections to play with if you break the two sides off the main gate. But for this video, however, I'm just going to attach those back onto the main gate and we're just going to see how it looks by just putting the mill on one side and the tower on the other and then we might just swap it around and see how it looks doing it the other way. Okay, that does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, this is attaching the tower to the right and the mill to the left. And if we have a look around here, now, it is a little bit cumbersome to play around with. If we have a look, it's not a square castle by any means. You have a little bit of movement here where you can straighten things up, flex them out a little bit. Overall, I think that does look really good. If we take a look from around the other side, the gargoyles kind of clash a little bit with this tower. Now you can move this a little bit and have it like so. But I think that probably the biggest problem is just that it's, it's not squared. So, you know, you've got your tower sticking off to the side. And now by changing it up and putting the tower on the left and the mill to the right of the main build, this is the look that we get. Now I actually think I prefer this look a little bit better. I think these two towers next to, to each other look really nice. Again, it's not symmetrical in any way. And looking from the back side, I just feel that this combination just seems to flow together a little bit nicely. The gargoyles clear the roof section here. It does kind of get in the way, I guess, for your little escape hatch there. And just an overview of how that all looks together. But if you're thinking about putting this all on a base plate and have it clipped together the way Lego has it, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Now I said I'd show you the leftover parts from each of the builds. So for build A, the main build, these are the leftover parts here. Just a few small elements. So for build B, the tower, I estimate that it used around 800 pieces, so we have around 600 pieces left over. So these are really just some of the smaller pieces, and then the, some of the larger pieces. So quite a healthy selection of parts left over from build B. For build C, the mill and wall section, I estimate I used around half of the parts. We're looking around 700 parts left over. Again, these are some of the smaller parts and the larger parts. And here are all the parts combined that are left over. So now it's time for my final thoughts and the first thing I have to say is how much I love the style and the colours used in this build. I just love this concept of mixing the woodwork with the brickwork and the use of the yellow and dark blue just really make this pop. And while it feels like something completely new castle wise from Lego, it doesn't disappoint with give you that hit of nostalgia from the castles of yesteryear. And what would be so great to get a return of themes like pirate and castle, if Lego continue to give us these creator three in one sets, like the pirate ship last year, the castle this year, I think that gives old school Lego fans something to grasp onto and something to really enjoy. If I was to look for some negatives, I tell you, I really have to nitpick to find anything negative about these builds. Maybe the 
connection of all three builds together not quite cohesive and i think maybe a little bit more work could have done design wise to improve that a little bit of course i only tried a couple of options there if you broke off the side buildings off the main gate you might be able to create something even better again. Minifigure wise, like I said, the torso for the villager, I would have liked a full sleeve printed torso for that villager, or better yet, just another knight. I mean, these knights are so fantastic, and Lego know it, but it would have been good to get one more, wouldn't it? And the positives, well, the positives are just flowing, just the overall design. I just think is fantastic. The little side builds are pretty good. I mean, the tree looks good. The blacksmith's market's nice. The dragon's pretty cool. And the trebuchet is awesome. So do I recommend this build? Holy dooly, you betcha I do. I definitely, definitely recommend that you guys go out and buy at least one of these sets. And if you can squeeze in two and build that tower to put with your main build, I think that is pretty awesome as well. But if you're a real mad bastard, I suggest get all three sets because you can't go wrong with all three of these. You get a ton of pieces left over. If you want to have a bit of a go at changing things up a little bit, and I'm thinking I might do that myself, I might chuck it on a base plate, a big 48 by 48 base plate, and just build a whole new castle. So... Yeah, it just gives you so many options if you want to buy three sets and just go nuts on building a castle. So I hope you did enjoy this review. I don't do reviews very often, but these Creator 3-in-1s really bring my reviews out of the woodwork because I just love them so much. We had Pirates last year, Castle this year. What is 20? 22 going to bring so if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you want to see more i'm going to go and have a play around i got no idea when i can get it done by but i am so keen now to see what i can come up with to take some of these elements of all of these builds and make something unique to myself as well so i'll see what i can do there so if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. That'll be coming down the track. A big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. That's just such fun. I've got to go again. <laughs>